and welcome to the series of uh, lectures on applied thermodynamics KMA 401 what uh, uh, we will be doing here is developing a basic framework for a very important device used in a power plant which is known as boiler for those of you who are watching this lecture series have to follow up the previous lectures delivered in the regular classroom and uh, for a quick review we had uh, we had discussed uh, what is a boiler classification of boiler and uh, working of boilers uh, today we are going to develop some framework about this device which is boiler and uh, content for today is boiler mountings and accessories what is boiler mounting in boiler number of devices are used for its operation safe and uh, efficient operation devices used for control and safe operation of a boiler is known as mounting devices used for improving the performance of a boiler is known as accessories boiler mountings are necessary boiler mountings are necessary while the boiler accessories are optional So there are few boiler mountings which are used in a boiler. One is a bo water level indicator, safety valves, fusible plug, pressure gauge, stop valve, feed check valve, blow off cork, manhole and mud box. If you want to see these mountings in this Babcock and Wilcox boiler you can find water level indicator here safety valve you can find out here fusible plug you can find out here pressure gauge you can found find out here stop valve you can find out here and there is a feed check valve which is known as also feed water inlet which you can find it out here then there is a blow of cork which you can find it out here which is written as blow of pipe then there is a manhole which you can find it out here and there is a mud box which you can see it here so you can see all the boiler mountings are used in this type of boiler Babcock Wilcox boiler. Now we are going to see each boiler mounting in detail. First one is water level indicator. It is used for knowing the level of water in a boiler drum. Water level water level inside boiler should not go below a certain limit. This is a very important point that means the water level should not go below a certain limit water level is seen through the glass tube water level is seen through the glass tube and basically this is water level indicator in which there are two tubes one is the glass tube another one is the metallic tube glass tube is uh, basically very strong which can withstand very high pressure and temperature there are two control cocks one is for regulating the steam and another is for controlling the water in case of breakage of glass tube the possibility of accident is prevented by providing two steel bars so you must remember there are two glass two tubes one is glass tube another one is metallic tube 
and there are two control valves control cox one is for regulating the steam and another is for controlling the water and there are also two steel balls which will be preventing any possibility of accident so if you want to see this diagram here you can see this is a boiler part and here this is boiler plate and uh, in this part you can see this is steam and here the blue part is water and then there is two gun metal casting which is protruded from this uh, boiler plate this one and this one then there is two uh, Corks, one is steam cork and one is water cork basically it is used to regulate the water and steam in this position these two corks are in open position and then this is glass tube which is written here as a guard glass cover and gaze glass tube and this is hollow metal column that means here you will find steam and water then there is a drain cork you can see here that means if you want to drain out some water or steam then you can use this drain cork when this is under normal condition that means the steel balls these two steel balls one is here and another one is here these two steel balls are positioned in this way and when anyhow these glass tubes gets ruptured so what will happen the pressure inside this boiler drum which is in equilibrium condition that means the pressure due to the due to its uh, high pressure is steam will be rushing through this uh, through this uh, gun metal casting hollow gun metal casting in this direction right and due to high pressure water will be rushing in this direction through this gun metal casting what will happen due to the motion of water these steel balls will be moving in this direction and this steel ball will be moving by the steam force in this direction and these steam these steel balls will block the passage for this steam and this steel ball will block the passage for this water so that the water will not go in this direction and the steam will not come in this direction that means this will be the passage for water and steam so in this way you can see the water level through this transparent glass tube but when it gets ruptured for the safety reason two steel balls are provided so here this water level indicator is done now the next mounting is safety wall so what is safety wall as the name suggests safety is prime concern for the design of a boiler to prevent the steam pressure from exceeding a limiting maximum pressure value which is a designed pressure value so how does it works if the steam pressure in the boiler drum exceeds the working pressure which is designed pressure that means the pressure inside the boiler cannot go beyond the designed pressure it permits the steam in the boiler to escape which permits the safety valve permits the steam in the boiler to escape to the atmosphere until the safe working pressure in the boiler is reached again so this is this is basically balancing 
mechanism that means the extra pressure will be released and the design pressure will be obtained inside the polar drum so what is the principle basically safety valve is pressed against a seat through some external force that means there is a equilibrium of two forces one is the force due to the steam pressure and due to the external load when the steam force due to the boiler pressure acting under the valve exceeds the external force the valve gets lifted off its seat allowing some of the steam to escape until the working pressure is restored again so there are number of safety valve basically it is two at least two safety valves which are prescribed by the indian indian boiler regulation act that means you should use at least two safety valves if you want to see what is where is where it is located where the safety valve is located safety valves are located above the steam space in the boiler as we have seen in the case of babcock and wilcox boiler so you must remember its function and how does it work and where it is located and how many safety valves are used in a boiler next we come towards types of safety valves there are three four types of safety valves which are being used in a boiler the first one is dead weight safety valve you can see this is a boiler drum and over which this safety valve mechanism is used right this is steam space of a boiler that means steam is there and water is there and due to and over which this is a bottom flange you can say in the gray color bottom flange and over which this is a this is a cover plate a uh, cover plate carries this cast iron weights cast iron weights here and here on both sides and this is basically gun metal valve and you can see this is a weight carrier and this is a gun metal valve seat so this is a valve and this is a seat valve is sitting over this seat right as the steam pressure is as the steam pressure inside this boiler space is less than or equal to the design pressure this safety valve this uh, um, gun metal valve will be sitting over this valve seat right once the steam pressure exceeds the designed pressure once the steam pressure exceeds the designed pressure what will happen this steam pressure will exert the force over this valve and due to this uh, steam pressure valve gets lifted valve gets lifted as the valve gets lifted the steam will go from this pipe in this direction and it will get discharged towards to open atmosphere and as the steam gets discharged through this discharged pipe the steam pressure gets decreased inside this space and uh, and it uh, equals to the designed pressure so in this way this safety wall works dead weight safety wall why it is dead weight because some mass have been used as a dead weight we can say this is a dead weight next is lever safety valve lever safety valve here again you can see this is a steam drum steam space of the boiler water 
and this is flange which is attached to this uh, steam drum then there is a valve sitting over this valve seat then you have you can see this is a fulcrum over this end some movable weights are hanged right and due to this uh, weight a weight is acting over acting through this hinge strut and the weight is acting downward and a steam force is acting upward when this is the this in this space the pressure is the steam pressure is equal to the designed pressure will be equal to the load which is acting downward but once this steam pressure exceeds the designed pressure this wall will be lifted and as the wall will be lifted up in the upward direction some steam will go out into the atmosphere and when the some steam went to atmosphere the pressure decreases inside this space which is which is way lower than the design pressure and in the in that in that situation the steam in, in that situation this valve seat gets seated to this valve seat right next one is spring loaded safety valve this is these two are basically dead weight in this dead weight is attached to with attached with a cover plate in this dead weight is attached with lever in this case the spring loaded that means the load is acting here as a spring force right so this is again boiler drum over which a flange is attached that means you can see these are two pipes and uh, here in previous cases we have one wall but here we have two walls with over which a lever is sitting and lever is attached with this uh, wall through two pivots and as the steam pressure is equal to the design pressure this steam this this wall will be seated on uh, over this wall seats as the steam pressure gets exceeded from the designed pressure this wall gets open and the extra steam will be going towards atmosphere and in this way these safety valves work so this is safety valves next one is fusible plug what is a fusible plug as you have seen in Babcock Wilcox boiler fusible plug is used to protect the heating surface area of the boiler against the damage of overheating when the water level in the boiler falls below the safe limit right where it is located it is generally inserted in the crown of the furnace or in the combustion chamber at the lowest permissible water level as the water levels falls down the heat available from the furnace could not be completely utilized for steam formation and so overheating may cause melting of the fusible metal fusible metal is made of low melting point metal and due to this reason this fusible metal is susceptible to melt after the melting of fusible plug water falls down in the furnace and it quenches the fire this is the purpose of fusible plug right so as you can see in this figure these two figures suggest that this one is when there is enough water inside a boiler 
this is steam space this is the water space as you can see there is there is enough water enough water and uh, this is the furnace fire drill ash pit the fire tube right this is a uh, solid copper plug this one is gunmetal plug b part is a gunmetal plug and between b and c you can see this you can see this is a fusible metal low melting point metal right and this is a uh, uh, hexagonal fringe and this is the crown plate of the furnace what we were talking about right in this situation there is a uh, enough water as you can see here if the water is evaporating at a very high rate and you can see if there is no water left inside this space what will happen due to the continuous burning of continuous burning inside this furnace hot flu gases will move upward right and due to its contact with crown plate this crown plate will be overheated and due to this reason this portion will be also very much heated up and as the temperature exceeds the melting point of this uh, fusible metal fusible metal will melt and as the fusible metal fusible uh, metal melts what will happen this this uh, copper plug will come down inside the furnace and what will happen if there is some water left if there is some water left water will also come down through this passage and the water will quench down this fire inside the furnace so with this in this way you can save you can save the boiler drum right so this is all about fusible plug next one is pressure gauge which is again a boiler mounting what is its function its function is to monitor the pressure generated in the boiler right where it is located it is mounted at the front top of the front top of the boiler cell or drum there are um, many types of pressure gauge but which is bowden tube pressure gauge is mostly used in the boiler then again there is a diaphragm type of pressure gauge generally bowden type pressure gauges are being used for uh, pressure measurement so you will see in the next slide how the bowden tube looks like bowden tube has uh, two ends one end of the bowden tube is fixed and connected to the steam space in the boiler and other end is connected to a sector through a link right this is bowden tube pressure gauge you can see this is boiler steam space and water space and this is a siphon tube which is known as siphon tube which is connected to the upper part of the boiler which is steam right so as this is connected to the steam space steam will come through this siphon tube right steam will come th through this siphon tube there is some valve q and s q and s there is some valve through this passage steam will come in this direction again you can see this is some uh, dial indicator this is needle this is uh, what you can say graduations one two three four and five and this blue part you can see like you can see this is c part alphabet c some somewhat it looks like alphabet c but uh, uh, many times it looks like some kind of ellipse right as the steam comes in this passage due to high pressure this uh, c part will try to expand 
and this end is free to move and as it moves due to its movement this sector r which will also move and you can see there is some kind of gearing mechanism and due to this due to its motion due to its motion this will also move and as it move this needle will deflect some uh, some kind of reading and this is calibrate this reading is calibrated this reading is calibrated with pressure change change in pressure right so in this way you can uh, measure the steam pressure through this gauge which is known as bodel pressure gauge next one is stop wall what is stop wall its function is it is used to regulate the flow of steam from the boiler from the boiler towards the prime mover that is turbine right so it is located generally on the highest part of the boiler shell this is boiler right this is boiler is this is steam space this is boiler right so this is stop wall you can say you can see this is steam pipe discharge pipe and this will go towards turbine section or prime mover steam engine section right this is steam clearly you can see the stop wall is regulated by rotating the wheel this wheel to lower or raise the spindle this is spindle part by this hand wheel you can raise or lower the spindle you can see this is a wall and this is a wall seat here sorry what will happen what will happen as the steam pressure reached the design pressure or the pressure at which you want to send the steam to the prime mover right this hand wheel will be rotated in such a way that this wall moves in the upward direction and in the duration the steam will leave from this boiler drum towards prime mover through this steam pipe right so next one is feed check wall what is feed check wall as the name suggest feed to the boiler that is feed water clearly to control the supply of feed water to the boiler from the feed pump and to prevent any other water escaping back from the boiler in the event of failure of feed pump or the pump pressure less than the boiler size that means this is a one way valve it is placed on the boiler shell slightly below the normal water level it is a non return valve that is one way valve at the end of the delivery pipe from the feed water pump it has a check valve whose opening and closing are regulated by the position of the spindle feed check valve permits unidirectional flow of water from feed pump to the boiler cell under normal running condition pressure of feed water coming from the pump is more than the pressure inside the boiler during the non working of feed feed pump pressure in the boiler cell is more and so the check valve gets closed this is feed check valve this is open position this is closed position right so what will happen suppose suppose uh, you are filling water from the feed pump to the boiler right so what will happen the pressure through the feed the pressure inside this boiler is less right and the pressure of water coming through the feed pump is large 
in the direct in in the direction what will happen what will happen this check fall you can say you, you can see in a green color it will move up in this direction due to the rotation of the hand wheel and due to which this water will move through this passage to the boiler drum now what will happen when the boiler drum is filled up to certain level which is desired water level of water the bo uh, in this uh, boiler drum what will happen you will close you will lower this uh, spindle by the rotation of hand wheel and it will be coming downwards it will be coming in the downward direction and what will happen you will stop the feed feed pump and due to the hydrostatic pressure the water the pressure inside this boiler drum will be now more and due to this due to this reason the water will come in this direction and since this is a non return valve what will happen it will the force will be acting in this direction and due to this reason also this check valve will be closed so you can see this check valve feed check valve is one way valve so this is all about feed check valve next one is blow off cock blow off cock its function is it is used for periodically cleaning by discharging the water and sediments from bottom of the boiler because uh, blow off cock is used to clean or discharge the water so its location should be at the bottom of the boiler blow off cock is fitted to the bottom of the boiler cell you can see these two situations this is steam space water space and this is blow off cock right this is blow off cock this is a plug so when this white space you can see here if it is in this position that means it is stopping this water from uh, coming out from this boiler drum right in this position this plug is in such a way that the water may drain out so this is blow off cock which is used to clean uh, or discharge the water periodically right cleaning the sediments which may be present in the water the next one is manhole and mud box what is the function of manhole manhole is required for cleaning and inspection and sometimes repairing of the boiler manhole is provided for the entrance of a man inside the boiler drum right mud box is a collection chamber for collecting the mud it is located basically manhole is provided on the boiler cell at a convenient place through which through which a person can go inside and clean the sediments and other things right so this is all about uh, boiler mountings next part will be boiler accessories right